This whole matter revolves around the problem of sin and the person of the Savior. This is where men fall. It's always here, on both or on one of those accounts. Sin. They don't want to admit their sin. Or they will admit their sin, but they won't admit the extent of their sin. They don't know how awful it is. And they imagine that the God that they have invented in their mind will overlook their tiny little breaches every now and again. They have a false concept of sin. They don't know the exceeding sinfulness of sin. Let me tell you, the evidence of how horrendous sin is, is upon the cross. If you want to see how awful sin is, how vile sin is, how abominable sin is, see the Son of God dying on the tree. Because essentially what God is saying in putting Jesus Christ on the cross is saying, if there was another way, I would go that way. But this is the only way to deal with sin, is that God the Son bear himself as a sacrifice upon this tree. There is no other way. That's how awful sin is. The only answer for sin is the death of Jesus Christ. And yet you turn and say, well, a lie is just a lie. And so what? I committed fornication. Big deal. I stole something. What's the big deal? Well, people steal all the time. Oh, the great, the great thieves are the bankers. The great sinners are those who are X, Y, and Z, politicians. Oh, you can point the finger, but you're going to give account for yourself. And if you believe not that Christ is the Son of God and He is the light of the world, you will die in your sin. I confess to you, I struggle. I type out the messages. I try to articulate in some way, what way can I get the truth into your heart? And so often I stand here and I feel... I feel so badly. I'm like, Lord, what do I need to say? Why don't they see? How come they don't get it? They're going to die in their sins. They're going to perish everlastingly. Everything that seemed to matter in a moment will seem to be nothing. It will just be gone. It's significance. Whatever it might be you put value on, the one second in hell has gone. So I wonder, are you getting it? Will you die in your sin? Preacher, I've, I've plenty of time. Oh, that's what, the, that's what the rich farmer said. I have much goods laid up for many years. Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. This night, this night, he had no idea. He had no warning. He had no opportunity to write it. He died in his sins. Don't. Don't die in your sins. Don't die in your sins. 